Our severe weather season is off to a very early and active start, and the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service have had a front row seat to it all, issuing countless watches and warnings. We got a behind the scenes look at how they put those forecasts together. Lead forecaster Chris Leonardi is part of the team of meteorologists at the National Weather Service that is tasked with issuing watches and warnings, among other things, on a severe weather day in Western PA, and they have issued a lot already this season. When you combine the number of severe thunderstorm tornado warnings we've issued so far this year, it's the second most active year since 1985 and the most active since 2002. So what has led to this fast start to our severe weather season? I asked Chris if our mild winter could be a factor. One factor, of course, we look at is instability when you're forecasting tornadoes and having warmer than normal temperatures, which we've had for a good part of the first part of the year, would certainly lead to increased thunderstorm activity and therefore the possibility of more tornadoes. But it's not just instability that means tornadoes are possible. Increased moisture and wind shear in different levels of the atmosphere also lead to spin. We have been in a very busy pattern where we've seen increased levels in some cases of instability and lots of times increased um, levels of shear. And it's been a very unusual pattern for this early in the year. Between 1950 and 2023, Western Pennsylvania has averaged three tornadoes per year. This month alone, there have been six. The strongest was an EF2 that hit Finleyville, Washington County, with 118 mile per hour winds. Chris showed us what the meteorologists on shift were looking at in real time. It starts with a typical pattern of opposing winds and rotations starting to form. And you'll see the rotation just continuing. And here's Finleyville right here. And right here, um, you can see even a little bit more reflectivity in the ball. So that's suggestive right there of some debris. Radar imagery along with storm reports from spotters and videos from the public help these forecasters in real time as they track supercells like that storm that produced last Saturday's tornado. As severe weather season continues, we want to remind you of knowing where your safe place is, both at work, home, school. Also, to have multiple ways to get watches and warnings, especially if severe weather is going to strike at night. A great tool is the WTAE app. Reporting from Moon Township, Jill Swed, Pittsburgh's Action Weather.